नमस्कार आप देख रहे हैं क्रिक बेड आई पी एल डायरीज एडिटर जी पे और आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत ही बढ़िया गेस्ट है लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू गौरव जोशी अ वेरी सीनियर क्रिकेट जर्नलिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड हैज द वास्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ कवरिंग सो मेनी इंटरनेशनल मैचेस फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज वेल एज फॉर इंडिया गौरव थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग योर टाइम और एंड स्पीकिंग टू एडिटर जी Uh no problem you're welcome anytime Yash um I don't know about the senior journalist side I mean did you mean that through my age or just my experience I hope it was just the experience I, I don't think I've sort of aged that much into we you all know whenever we are covering cricket it tends to get the best out of us but um now we're looking forward to the chat Thanks so much, Gaurav. But first, before we get Gaurav into the chat, let's just first take a look at uh, the last night's match. Uh, there was this one particular gentleman, Surya Kumar Yadav. काफी अच्छी batting करी team को एक बहुत अच्छे बड़े score तक लेके गए और as a result, Mumbai Indians have been cruising all the way through to a great win in IPL last night. The way Surya Kumar Yadav is playing, do you see him coming to Team India, especially in the T20s, uh, very soon? Yeah, you never know. He's he's always puzzled because last ten, twelve years, I've covered a lot of A tours in Australia when India's come out here. Um, you know, like Virat's come through that, Rohit has come through that, Ajinkya has come through that. But I've never seen Surya's name mentioned. He's never been to you know Australia or any A team for that matter. Um, he's he's just beautiful to watch. He's just so technically very good. Uh, he's been around domestic cricket for a long time. Where do you fit him in? That's the big sort of question. I mean, is, is it at number four? Is it at number three? Uh, Virat's there at three, so hard to fit him in. Uh, but my word, he's a good player. I mean, he goes under that radar in Mumbai, doesn't he? Even Ishan Kishan gets more accolades and more spotlight than someone like Surya. Uh, but you just know, like when Surya plays those shots, um, he's got as much sort of talent and class as you know, like so many good batsmen going around in India. Yeah, I mean, just like you mentioned, uh, Ishan Kishan, the way this team is shaping up right now, probably uh, they've, they've always been said that you know Mumbai Indians kafi dhire dhire shuru karte hain IPL ko and suddenly they just take off and they explode. They have are they peaking a bit too early this time? <laughs> you wouldn't think so. What I like about them, Yash, is you know they don't chop and change like many other franchises. It's like they have small dedicated roles for each player. And he executes it. It's simple as that. You know, Bumrah this season, apart from last night, where he opened the bowling, he's been bowling first game. James Pattinson. I mean, he was. He's not even looked into the Australian T20 sort of circuit, and he's come through and performed so well because he's saying he, he swings the new ball. He's got pace. This is your role. Do it. That that's what I like about Mumbai. I mean, and you know. No other team has the luxury like at five, six, and seven. Who oh, has yes. those power hitting or rounders? Um, nobody has that, and we've seen in so many matches it doesn't need to be you know those thirty balls that someone scores those runs. It's just those ten balls and thirty runs, or fifteen balls or thirty runs that makes such a difference in T Twenty cricket. Well, absolutely. You know, Mumbai, as you correctly mentioned, is one team which has assigned small roles to every single cricketer, and they are performing it well. But one team which has been assigning roles and nothing's going their way is uh, <laughs> is Rajasthan Royals. I beg your pardon. Uh, since they moved out of Sharjah, uh, they're looking lost, right? Yeah, and look at the top order. I mean, Steve Smith last two matches, I've never seen him bat like the way he has. He's slogging. Um, And here is a guy in Test cricket who bats for six, seven hours. Um, <laughs> it looks like there's a bit of confusion. This cohesion is not there. Uh, perhaps whenever uh, you know Ben Stokes comes back, that might be something that they need. Potentially, if they've got you know that top order there, maybe they look at someone like Josh Butler sliding down as that you know, like we talked about, like Mumbai have to have that power hitter, a uh, finisher at five, six, because. Just there's still no depth there at all after the first three. Uh, the way they played that incredible yeah. innings, once but in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime, exactly. So, uh, but you know, you know, yeah, they, things are just not, and they've got a decent bowling lineup. Um, but yeah, you're you're right, but they just seem slightly clueless. Um, 
but you know it comes like maybe uh, you know there are teams who haven't played in Dubai or Abu Dhabi yet. So mm -hmm. and playing on charger maybe wasn't the best thing for them because they could just plonk their foot down the wicket and give it a good whack, um, and they yeah. couldn't do that in some of the other matches. So I think and and plus the grounds are bigger, so maybe they have to change that perspective. Amon Muzumdar is a very good coach. I'm sure he's been in their ears and. Um, yeah, expect them to sort of change their sort of the way they approach their batting. Absolutely, you know, uh, with the way these two teams, uh, specifically one we spoke about Mumbai, our Jodhusi team is where Delhi Capitals, the way these guys are performing, do they look like the two strongest units in IPL with the current form right now to you? Yeah, absolutely. How good are they looking? I mean, uh, two things I always look at in T20 cricket, you've got to have a really good death bowler. Um, you know, you, you've just breathe Bumrah, like, you know, he can win you a match. And I think what happens is when you're playing against Mumbai, you have to plan for just breathe Bumrah, those four overs. Mm -hmm. Now, suddenly with Rabada, teams have to start planning around Rabada. Uh, so I think he's been a big change. And Marcus Stoinis, uh, here is a guy like, you know, uh, Australia didn't want to pick him because at number six, because in the big batch, he opens the batting. So, and, you know, we've talked about T20 dedicated roles. So if Marcus Stone is opening batting, he couldn't handle number six. That's what was in Australian cricket perception. And here he is. He's gone to the IPL, working under Ricky Ponting, another Australian. Um, and he's been able to change that dynamic of that team around. I mean, even Prithvi, for that matter, you know, you, he hasn't been batting recklessly. It's almost treat uh, each ball by the merit. Uh, a lot of experience there. I like the variety of Ashwin and, uh, and Akshay Patel. A lot of depth there. I, I, they, yeah, they're looking very good. I mean, Mumbai and Delhi, by far, uh, standouts, and and you know, and then points table prove that. Yeah, they're slightly head and shoulders above the rest. But uh, one team which is uh, very, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I, if I have to use the correct word, lacking in all departments is Chennai Super Kings. Nothing <laughs> seems to be working uh, in their favor, and uh, tonight they go up against Kolkata Knight Riders. So, Jaliye, uh, our friend Gaurav Joshi is now here. Gaurav, we ask Chennai Super Kings to every person this question. What is wrong with them? What do you think? What is wrong with Chennai Super Kings? Chennai Kings, when I check out the WhatsApp messages, check karta, as you know, in Australia, mein, you know, it's about the matches finish at 5 a.m. So, when I message a message, half the WhatsApp messages are about jokes about and memes, memes about Chennai Super Kings. Ki, are they playing for net run rate? I mean, <laughs> uh, but no, look, uh, I mean, uh, there was a bit of change of fortune. Shane Watson played that innings. Faf is doing well. Let's not forget, Suresh that's a huge loss, yeah? huge loss. Okay. And you can tell that the reason why I think that bothered Chennai is uh, there's no other left-hander mm -hmm. at the top. And we know, like, I think last year when Mumbai Jab Jeet like the competition, it was like, I think Mumbai had the most amount of left-handed, right-handed com uh, combination at the crease throughout 2019 IPL. A lot of player, but teams do it. This year, if you take out Suresh Raina, who would have batted at three, that's why Sam Curran's been shifted up. Uh, we've had change, batting order changes. Um, and, and Dhoni, yeah, I, I, I might ask you, okay, what's the, what's the going on in India? Like, Dhoni, I mean, here we are. People <laughs> wanted him to play for another three years or an IPL baby. Kya kar rahe? Hi, exactly. I was very surprised with uh, Kasi Viswanathan, who's the Chennai Super King CEO, his statement. And he said, hum to ke Dhoni kam se kam For another three more years, he's expecting this. The next IPL is practically just four months away. So, uh, you know, keeping that in mind um, and the performance that Chennai Super Kings are putting up right now and Dhoni as well. Completely stop start. Um, I won't use the word clueless because I will get trolled on the social media. But thoda mucha na Dhoni is looking off color. Maybe this long break away from cricket has uh, really impacted his performance. But you know, um, one team that is really also having a stop and go kind of a performance this year is Kolkata Knight Riders. Um, Dinesh Karthik kafi experiment kar rahe hai. Um, Are you happy with the kind of experiments? Because this is usually the you know uh, the early part of the tournament. Do you think he'll settle down very quickly or he'll keep experimenting like that? I mean, the big surprise for me is they haven't even played many games with Kuldeep Yadav. Like, you know, he's yeah. just he's such a trump card and Kuldeep hasn't played. 
I think, again, same problem that they've got into is uh, where do they play? Because Owen Morgan and Nitish Rana are very similar type of cricketers. You know, they like to bat sort of four, uh, both left-handers. So they're trying to break it up, but it hasn't worked. So I think that's the biggest dilemma for them. Uh, might be worth, I mean, Sunil Naran, I mean, TK, like he was doing well, but it might be time to just move him down at number eight. Give someone, yeah. I mean, Pat, Pat Cummins is batting number seven. I mean, he doesn't bat number seven in a test match for Australia, you know, and he's not a, not a notable hitter. So why is he batting there? I mean, Tripathi came at number eight. You know, this is a guy who's an opener. I mean, clearly, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean somewhere in the mix. So, uh, sorry, I missed that. Do you think they're missing Chris Lynn somewhere in that mix? Um, I just think that they haven't got their strategy right. Um, then you're right, maybe another basher, but that basher up the top is probably Rahul Tripathi. I mean, uh, I think 2000, what was it, 17, he had a, such a fabulous idea. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, in T20 uh, cricket, in domestic cricket, uh, in, you know, playing for Maharashtra, he scores runs at the top. So, usko to chance do. Uh, but, and I, of course, where, see, I think Russell is very similar to Pollard. You know, he bowls, yeah. and no point putting him in at four, four, you know, earliest is probably five. Because in 15, 20 balls, that's all Russell needs. So, yeah. you know, while in the middle order, you've got this, people like DK and Nitish Rana who can work it around. So, I think uh, they have to sort out. Um, Abhishek Nair is a smart cricketer. You know, the KKR have their own academy throughout the whole year. Um, and you wonder, because of that whole commitment, like, you know, people like Nagar Koti and uh, Mavi, they've been in that system for so long that they almost feel it's an investment and we have to keep playing them. Uh, because, you know, how could you not play Kuldeep Yadav? So he has to come back um, into the picture. So I think it's just... Look, it's 20 matches in, so we're getting, you know, nearly one-third or 40% of the IPL is nearly done. So, we have to try, get start thinking about victories and not about experimenting anymore. And not about run rates, uh, net run rates for sure. And, you know, <laughs> one thing that KKR is doing extensively is backing the young talent, uh, Shivam Mavi. Or, uh, the way they tore apart everyone with their face was astonishing. And अब वापस आए हैं और जो अच्छा यंग ब्लड और फ्रेश लेग्स के ऊपर एक इन्वेस्टमेंट किया क्या क्या दैट्स ग्रेट दैट काबिल तारीफ है लेकिन एक टीम जो ऐसा नहीं कर रही है वो है चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स दे वर जोकिंगली कॉल्ड द डैडीज आर्मी इन द लास्ट आईपीएल ऑफ कोर्स दे मिल्ड इट टू परफेक्शन ऑन सोशल मीडिया बट क्या ये टैग अब भारी पड़ रहा है उनको लुक्स लाइक इट ऐसा ही लग रहा है क्योंकि धोनी के बारे में हम लोग बात कर रहे थे आई थिंक लैक ऑफ क्रिकेट Sometimes will affect somebody, you know, eventually. I mean, Shane Watson doesn't even play in the Big Bash. Uh, this year, he, he had a few net sessions before leaving for uh, Dubai here uh, in Sydney in some great cricket, um, just some training. So he hasn't had a lot of exposure to, like, you know, match practice, if you can say that. Um, and Dwayne Bravo, he's what, 36, 37? Who's go? When at his peak, he was bowling, you know, high 130s. I mean, so um, that's, that's changing. Um, yeah, I, but, you know, I, I don't know. It, see, this is one thing. You've covered a lot of cricket as well. Somewhere, you know, all it takes for Chennai is, is that one game. And I think they can still get on a roll. And MS is MS. MS probably wants critics like us to say, or and suddenly <laughs> it'll... Start happening, start happening, and he, and it will be just. And he's just had this golden touch with him throughout his career, and so I wouldn't be surprised if Chennai get on a roll sometimes. But um, so that's why tonight's match is, so is was huge. That, was that last match when they won uh, by ten wickets that tipping point according to you? Yes, but. Their biggest problem is that middle order. So that never got exposed. <laughs> so, um, you know, like Kedar uh, Jadav, um, you know, what, what, and who else? I mean, Ra Raidu started well. He hasn't done much afterwards. Um, you know, Dhoni, where does he bat? Uh, Sam Curran gets shifted up. Um, so if they rely uh, so much on that, you know, the, the duplices and, and, and the Raidus, but the middle order, you sometimes need it. And until someone like Raidu um, or even MS actually fires and starts scoring some runs, um, 
they're still going to hit a roadblock. But uh, I'm 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 never back. I'm not you know going off them because MS just can turn you know with one touch it turns things into gold. Well, absolutely, and you know one thing that I would love to see and probably pay money to see is MS Dhoni open their innings in a T20 game. I know it's not going to happen, but you know you don't need to pay money to dream. But anyway, <laughs> uh, one dream that uh, Team India always had, and I'm sure a lot of cricketers also had, was playing daylight Test cricket, and that short mm -hmm. came. Uh, Existence when they played against Bangladesh. But now, uh, Cricket Australia has just released the schedule and uh, there will be a day night test and that will kick off the proceedings for India versus Australia Test Series and that will take place in Adelaide. The much awaited Border Gavaskar series between India and Australia is all set to begin with a pink ball test in Adelaide in December later this year. India will play its maiden day night test overseas starting December 17th. The Virat Kohli led team that is scheduled for a long tour in Australia will then play the traditional Boxing Day test from December 26th in Melbourne and the following test in Sydney and Brisbane from January 7th and 15th respectively. While the test will be preceded by three ODIs and as many T20s, the schedule is yet to be confirmed. The Indian team is expected to travel to Australia directly from the UAE after the completion of IPL on November 10th, post which the team will undergo a 14-day quarantine. Yeah, it, it, it's been... You know, just with all the things that are happening in the world at the moment, we've had some, you know, uh, Australia's uh, state borders are still closed in a lot of the a couple of the states. Um, the state elections up in Queensland, so a lot of the routine and the schedule hasn't been able to finalise. Uh, but Adelaide, you know, that's, uh, I think Australia's record is four from four or five from five in a daylight test match. They love playing in Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's going to be a huge test match, I think, where uh, crowds are going to uh, be allowed in, as far as I know, if not to full capacity, then 30, 50, 60 percent, uh, depending how the situation is. So it's going to be huge for India because I, I think, it, you know, playing with the Kookaburra ball, it, it's, when they played in India, remember, the last two sessions were almost at night. In Adelaide, in September, the, uh, sorry, in December, the sun doesn't set till 8.30. So we're only mm -hmm. looking at possibly the last 20 overs, which are going to be in complete darkness. So I think that becomes a big factor than when they played in uh, Kolkata against Bangladesh. Well, that, that, those are great insights there about Adelaide that you've just said that, you know, last 20 minutes will probably be uh, day night, uh, for, uh, day, uh, in fact, night for uh, the two teams. But, you know, one thing that's for sure is this is going to be blockbuster cricket. Uh, the money is going to flow in. And that's something that is going to excite Cricket Australia. And they are doing it just because it is Virat Kohli. And uh, it will be a clash of Virat Kohli and Steve Smith. But uh, we've been reading a lot about these issues with the host broadcast, which is Channel 7 and Cricket Australia. Uh, what is happening exactly there? If you could just break it down for our viewers. Well, it's, it's, it's all about the product. Um, so, you know, Channel 7 are now saying... Uh, that you know, a lot of the see, a lot of the uh, revenue is generated, or in, in terms of uh, viewership, is from the Big Bash, mm -hmm. and the Big Bash, the T Twenty League. Now, I think Steve Smith and Pat Cummings and David Warner probably played five matches um, of Big Bash in the last five six years, because like IPL has its window, Big Bash doesn't have its dedicated window. It clashes with the mm -hmm. Australian Test cricket and sometimes mm -hmm. even one-day cricket or even an Australian international T20. So now, basically, Channel 7 are saying, well, we've paid you money, but we want to make sure when the Big Bash is going ahead, we want the the primary or the, you know, the, the best players to be playing the game. You know, it, it's not just about quantity. It has to be about quality. And people okay. are saying... And, and and the big bash just has keep they've kept extending it extending it extending it it started off being like a four or five week competition now it's eight weeks um and people are getting worried that there's just not enough quality cricket and i think channel seven it's a bit of an excuse uh to almost pull out uh of the deal because you know mm -hmm. channel seven probably feel that you know they lost a lot of money the actual channel seven in terms of uh, the network outside of cricket in terms financially isn't doing a lot of uh, isn't doing great so they're probably they in terms of cost and their estimation they're probably gone rather than leaving letting this go for another one or two years if we can pull out right now we'll pull out of course this the current status is that uh, you know they're not gonna 
pay uh, Cricket Australia the, the, the exact amount. They've only paid the initial amount and they're saying, we won't pay you anything else for the rest of the summer. Um, so, and that it, right now, and we're talking about, you know, Cricket Australia going to, you know, the courts are going to get into it. And when, when sport and courts and um, sort of the legal system, lawyers get involved, um, it turns into an ugly mess. So uh, not but, a good thing. Yep. Uh, I have a very uh, straightforward question. Uh, how do you yep. think this is going to affect uh, India's sort of Australia, which is later this year? I, I, I don't think it will affect it because, uh, you know, the test matches are all either on Channel 7 or they're also on Foxtel. So they're on two uh, networks uh, in Australia. So uh, I don't think it will be a, a big a concern. Um, so the, I guess the bottom line is everyone will be able to see cricket somewhere. <laughs> That's true. And one man who really enjoyed his cricket and the analysis behind uh, all the Indo-Australian Indo battles over the years has been uh, Dean Mervyn Jones. He passed away uh, a few days back in Mumbai. And a very private family funeral was held in the MCG uh, last week. And here are some of the pictures which uh, emerged out of that very private ceremony. The final farewell ceremony for former Australian cricketer Dean Jones was organised at the iconic Melbourne Cricket Ground on Saturday. Due to the current COVID-19 restrictions, the private ceremony was attended by just 10 people that included his family and close friends. The Australian flag and Dino's test cap number decorated his hearse, which took one last lap off the MCG under the lights. The Australian star, who joined the Melbourne Cricket Club in the 1980s, had played six of his 52 test matches and countless state and club fixtures at the MCG. Gaurav still with us. Gaurav, Keen uh, Jones, I guess it's Zante, he has touched many lives. Uh, we've all learned a thing or two about cricket, about even journalism from a cricketer, which is quite rare, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's 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 really hard to digest, Yes, You get... It, the day it happened, teen ghante pele, we were just having a conversation. Um, and he said, I'm going to have breakfast and we'll talk in a few hours. And then you know, you and I, were, you know, I was shattered, absolutely shattered. Because whatever, last seven, eight years, as you rightfully said, how many former cricketers, and no disrespect to them, are willing yeah. to share information like Dino used to, you know. And the great thing is, well, Afghanistan guy, well, Pakistan guy, well, India me, Tamil Nadu me cricket, you know, commentary karne gaya. You know, mm. he would take in the culture, but it wasn't about culture. Well, he was willing to share everything, yeah, and not just share with a Steve Smith and a Virat Kohli, but share it with a you know Yash Chawla and a Gaurav Joshi, like. I'll tell this like beautiful story. I mean, you know, this IPL, he, he, I said, you got to give us something new, you know. And uh, I play a lot of golf and I always talk, talk about golf. And I said, and he said, you know what? Cricket is, you know, cricket, baseball and golf swings. I'm going to start telling people on how they started to sort of merge together. And while I was saying that, I made a joke. What's up, Chorito? Mera golf swing check karlo. <laughs> Can you believe it? In the next 10 minutes, Usne mujhe 10 video send kiya and he said, try this, try this. Who does that? I mean, and we I mean, you know, like there's no uh like agenda there from myself or him. He's just doing it to be kind. Um and yeah. just enormous, you know. I've never seen anyone share knowledge like Dino had, and he would just Make people and you just have a conversation with everyone. Um, whether you doesn't matter what part of you know, if you're a former cricketer or a journalist or just an average person who loves cricket on the street. Um, yeah, we will. We, 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 I mean, you've had a lot to do with him, but yeah, I mean, surely, uh, I mean, I, 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 I'll, I'll miss him and I'll continue to miss him definitely. Well, absolutely, and you know, I think it's the right time for me to share one of my favorite stories with him. And there was this one time when we were shooting a Professor Dino gig and he was dressed up in his usual, uh, you know, professor attire with his, you know, white board and black board and, you know, with the chalk and everything. And then, <coughs> sorry, there's this young kid which walks up and says, Professor Dino, I know I've seen you on TV. And he really got pissed. He got really upset. And I was like, you know, why are you upset? He's like, no one remembers me for my double hundred versus Indian that I test. <laughs> and 
you know, if Dino was alive, I would still sit with him and go through those 200 stories oh. about the 200 he scored against India for possibly 200 times, and I would still not learn something out of it. And that was the exactly. beauty of that. Lovely, Ex right? Exactly. Gaurav, thank you so much for taking your time out and speaking to Editor G on Clickbait IPL Diaries. It was really lovely to have you, and we got to learn a lot from you as well. So thank you so much. Thanks for having me on, Yash, uh, and looking forward to having more conversations with you. All the best. Thank you. लेकिन जाने से पहले मैं आपको एक छोटा सा रिमाइंडर दे दूं। अगर आपने अभी तक एडिटर जी की ऐप डाउनलोड नहीं करी है तो प्लीज जल्दी से करिए और इस तरह के सारे शोज आप एंजॉय कर सकते हैं एडिटर जी ऐप पे और कल फिर मुलाकात होगी शाम पांच बजे तब तक के लिए अनुभव छुट्टिया